Hi again, just a short video this time. I'm going to talk a little bit about parafilm and how to use it. Parafilm is a sealing film. It's made from a blend of plastics and paraffin wax, making it stretchable, moldable, waterproof, odourless, semi-transparent and self-adhering, giving it a wide range of uses in labs. In mushroom growing, we use this as a way of sealing agar dishes to keep them sterile. It's also used around bottles and master slants. It's pretty straightforward to use parafilm. Just take a piece, stretch it, work it around your dish and stick it to itself. For my 90ml dishes, I use two squares and fold it back on itself, doubling the thickness. I do this because I'm pretty ham-fisted, so it works out more reliable for me to use more rather than cutting it in half as you'll see next. If you want to, double fold it like me and pin the start of the film on the petri dish with one finger while working it around with your other hand. Stick it to itself and make sure it's sealed all the way around. You can also cut it horizontally, doubling the amount you can use, and do the same thing. You could also use a whole sheet like this, but it's quite wasteful. You could just use cling film, or micropore tape, or even regular tape. However, parafilm is purpose built for the job, so if you're doing 20 to 30 dishes at a time, it's much easier to use this than messing around with sticky tape or cling film, mainly because of its stretchiness and self adherence I really like parafilm. I've never sought out the need to look for alternatives. One roll will last me about a year and cost £30 in the UK. It's about 76 metres long and 50 millimetres wide. It comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes though. There is another brand called Nescafilm, but it's not as common, at least in the UK. A couple of downsides to parafilm are it tends to dry out and become brittle. I guess this is because the petroleum based wax evaporates off. So if you have slants you want to keep for a while, treat them with care and reseal them every year or so. My lab is in my garage, so when it becomes colder the film is far less stretchy, so you may end up snapping or tearing the film as you try to stretch it. So keep it at room temperature, not garage temperature. It can also be a little bit fiddly to remove the paper backing, especially when you have gloves on and massive ham fists like me. I find tearing off a corner of the film and backing gives me a purchase to hold on to, and then I'm able to separate the two. Parafilm does allow small amounts of gas exchange, but mycelium is probably able to survive with the air that's captured inside the container. Parafilm isn't something you would want to use instead of a filter. As a bit of a shameless plug, I sell 5 meter lengths of it in my shop if you want to try it out before buying 76 meters of the stuff. Any questions, feel free to ask below. Cheers.